Hi, good morning all. So today we are going to have the review and customer feedback from Dr. Ram Babu sir, who is working as an associate professor in our college. So the concept of uh, developing this content, this will be useful for the new users to buy this uh, Okinawa iPrice and for this feedback will be carried forward to the government uh, to give better service and quality from this brand and to determine the rules from ARA. So now we will have a small interaction and this bike was by and uh, sir has met me around two years back and I have been suggested one best bike but based on the sir requirement sir we suggested to buy the sir with Okinawa I price which is an Japanese brand so the complete video is available in our link so we will try to have some interaction with our sir good morning sir okay <coughs> so I purchased this bike on November 2nd 2021 okay almost uh, two and a half years is over uh, I purchased this bike uh, around 1,28,000. At that time, they told me the range of the bike is uh, 120 kilometers per charge. For charging, it is taking almost five, four to five hours time. Uh, per kilometer, it is giving more than 120 kilometers when I ride this bike in 20 to 40 kilometers per speed. Its speed is, uh, maximum speed is 60 kilometers per hour. And uh, its battery capacity is 72 volts, volts and okay. 46 amps and its power is 3.6 kilowatts okay um, it uh, comes with bldc motor ip65 rating is there for the you can, uh, you can ride this bike in summer winter rainy seasons in any seasons you can ride so the uh, special features which I observed in this uh, bike is it's more range. It comes with side stand and center stand both. Uh, it has digital display. So you uh, can see this uh, digital display. It has some digital display. Digital display. Digital, digital display. display. So you can change this mode. Mode one. Mode one. It is economy mode, which can run the bike up to a maximum speed of 40 kilometers per hour if you change it to mode 2 that is sports mode you can run the bike up to a speed of 60 kilometers per hour and it is there is a option turbo option is there which can change into third mode where if you want to overtake the vehicles it consumes more power and you can overtake the vehicle within whether in economy mode and sports mode so that is useful so this vehicle is very having more advantages eco mode sports mode and three modes are there so remaining vehicles gets lesser modes but this comes with a hybrid mode like turbo mode where the engine can be driven i mean the motor can be driven with required speed and torque so it's what the main advantage sr has been comfortably using in this vehicle and it has uh, a usb port for charging mobile charging also and the mobile dock is also mobile provided, dock is also very provided. important so now our companies are providing only usb the, additionally it is provided with mobile dock which is an uh, very good feature and Direct. other good feature is dashboard you can comfortably place two water cans or even a gas cylinder also can be placed in this dashboard which comes especially for this type of bikes and other advantage the company given is uh, the battery comes with uh, 30,000 kilometers range and 3,000 cycles charge I use this bike almost 15,000 kilometers half of the life is uh, completed uh, almost two and a half year is over uh, per meter uh, per kilometer the running cost comes around 13 to 15 paise per minute kilometer and coming to the disadvantages uh, i cannot say that is big disadvantage, big disadvantage. only this uh, digital meter is having the battery percentage it is not displaying battery percentage state and of charge. state of charge and it is not going to give any information about how many kilometers I can drive with this battery charge. So actually, Only by calculating the number of cells here, I can calculate how much distance I can since go. Since Sari is an uh, experienced, since he is a uh, little bit qualified and he knows, he is able to identify based on the battery level. Battery but levels. generally those are public, they don't have an awareness with this available battery levels are just indicated how much he can be driven it's a big confusion why because uh, the driving modes changes depending upon the type of road that's the main issue sir has been identified 
and now we will have some interaction program. So, Sar is saying that uh, this is one of the drawback and how many years this has been completed sir? Two years. Uh, two and a half years. So, successfully Sar has been completed two and a half years. Sir, in this duration had you faced any problem, uh, I mean we have the problems like Wala and Hero, they suddenly stop on the road. No, so, uh, do you have that kind I, I of I didn't issues? face any problem like that. So, this no. is very important feature. Remember, this vehicle, Dynamics and hardware is well designed. This is a Japanese brand and the hardware is well designed. It doesn't have any disadvantages. The vehicle emergency stop on the road. It doesn't uh, have any software issues as well as hardware issues. That's the main advantage. SAR is comfortable in the driving. So, if you take the feedback from the remaining uh, customers, those who are using Ola and Hero, they're directly, even the vehicle is directly stopping on the road. That's one disadvantage and sir will uh, explain you the remaining disadvantages what has been uh, faced in this vehicle. Uh, after using this vehicle for one year I faced some difficulty with this shock absorbs. Okay, I recently changed the shock absorbs uh, because this vehicle can't bear weight more than 100 kgs person. If I want to go two persons comfortably I forcefully to change the shock absorbs. That is one disadvantage on that one. And the base, uh, can you show the, you can show the battery, battery, so the battery base placement. is there. battery placement, see here, so battery placement, this. so this is the battery compartment, so when the shock of drops struggles, this battery bottom is going to hit this shock of drops, so that is one disadvantage in the Manufacturing end, I think. So that is one drawback. Another drawback I found. Uh, apart from that, I don't find any drawbacks more than that. And fast charging is not supported so here. So there's one drawback. Why? Because uh, here you can see here this vehicle comes with uh, normal charging. Okay. So and main advantage what Sar has been saying is that Sar lives in an apartment. Actually, he wants to keep the charging in the first floor. He can use this portable charger. We can remove this. Uh, portable plug and we can keep it uh, in the second floor. So now Sar will show you how to dismantle. Before you remove this, you have to keep the MCB in off MCB condition. Off. The procedure of removing it and to carry it to the next floor is you should remove it and this is the portable battery. That's why this vehicle is very popular. You can see the weight and this is an Okinawa I powered plus. lithium ion battery with operating voltage of 72 volts and 46 AH approximately this is of 3.3 kilowatt kilowatt hour and you can see the charging so a charging port is I mean charge is also provided you can lift it to your first floor and you can keep the charging the first vehicle in India from the Japanese brand which comes with portable batteries after this vehicle there's no other brand which is offering a portable battery only from Hero Vida so after this is only the first vehicle and now in 2024 Hero Vida is available that's why this vehicle is one of the popular vehicle and SAR has some issues uh, in this uh, structural wise so that's why it is unable to bear more weight I mean uh, Okinawa has to plan how to change the design in such a way that the shock absorbers has to give the maximum life so there's the main feedback from our customer review what has been understood so please try it in to take into the consideration in the next see. upcoming you please change these designs you can see this so you see here, shock absorb the shock absorber is directly giving some mechanical box. pressure to the battery. If it undergoes more mechanical pressure, there is a chance of a burst also and there is a chance of a fire accidents to occur. So these sort of things should be taken care by Okinawa in the battery placement. Nowadays batteries are coming with the latest placement with including vapor cooling also. So those sort of analysis has to be performed by Okinawa for more design. So hardware wise and software wise there is no issue. These people are very successful than compared to the top brands like Ola and Hero. But the issue is only in the battery placement. They are giving, they are providing portable battery, but it's not so comfortable. So there need to be change in physical dimensions and the design of battery placement. And SAR has been addressed the one more issue. So he has bought this with very cost around one lakh uh, thirty five thousand around two years back only. But he is unable to charge on the available. Uh, EV charging stations. Why? Because this doesn't comes with a standard AC001 bar charger. This comes only with a normal charging. So, which is the main disadvantage. If you want SAR to keep the charging, he has to charge it at the home or he has to leave with full charge from the home 
or he has to go to a small shops, he has to charge it. It's the main drawback. By investing 1 lakh 30,000 also, the SAR is saying that uh, he's unable to charge the vehicle by using uh, the standard chargers which are available on the highways. This is the main drawback. Okinawa has to look out how to design see the standard uh, charging ports which is nothing but Bharat AC001. Sir, does this uh, battery support fast charging? No, sir. No. Uh, this is a uh, regular domestic charging domestic which charging. comes under class 1 charging. Okay. So, this is slow charging basically. It is taking around nowadays lithium and batteries are coming with uh, fast, charging. fast charging. So, Okinawa has to plan how to charge this uh, at least they have to provide a costly charger where the customer can bear. So, at least for 2 to 3 hours only, it has to charge. Okay. So, those sort of initiatives has to be looked out by Okinawa for the better customer satisfaction. Okay. So, now SAR is comfortable. So, now he is only the first uh, in our faculty members who is motivated by green energy. And uh, under my suggestion, SAR has been by this electric vehicle. After the purchase of uh, SAR EV bike, many of the faculty has started daily, they have been came front and started purchasing electric vehicle. So, this is how we are encouraging green initiatives, green energy resources and we are also planning to have free charging for all our faculty members, those are having uh, green vehicles. So, this will help us to promote uh, more green energy in our campus and this will help all our faculty to buy electric vehicle. So, SAR will address what are the issues and you can see this, um, uh, this for 1 lakh 20, 30 thousand itself, they are providing a front disc. This is a very advanced. You can see this. We already given the test drive of this vehicle. The braking is very powerful and speed is also very powerful. So, you can here you can see that this comes with the front disc brake and back also disc brake. Yes. And one more advantage what I identified uh, number of vehicles is no vehicle. I mean, Walla itself is not providing a center stand, but this company directly provides a, a center stand. Okay. So, this is the so, this is the side stand and center stand is also provided and this comes with uh, footrest also. So, these are the basic requirements of a uh, normal two wheeler, but minimum these also not provided uh, by the top most brands like uh, Ola. So, for all this has to come with uh, additional auxiliaries which is a uh, burden to the customer. So, in this point of view, SAR is very happy all the basic features what an EV similar to that of an IC engine SAR is having and the cost what he invested already SAR has been showing you this uh, uh, calculation around 15,000 kilometers has already driven 15,000 you multiply with the 1 rupee I mean uh, the cost for IC engine is 2 rupees so 15,000 into 2 30,000 rupees what SAR has been invested till late in 2.2 years SAR I mean how many years sir 2.2 Two and a half years. Two and a half years. I mean, two years, six months has been already exhausted. SAR has already restored 30,000 rupees. SAR has to recover 1 lakh. So, from now onwards, SAR, I mean, after this, we will be having an after 4 to 5 years, SAR will be having a free of uh, running this vehicle, which comes with zero running costs. So, do you have any maintenance cost here, sir? Uh, till now, no maintenance, no maintenance cost. cost and I am going to charge this vehicle for 10 to 15 days once only. Okay. So that's why I can't roam more than 20 kilometers in a day. Okay. Just I travel from quarters to college, quarters, college to quarters, and I will go to nearest place around five kilometers only. In and so, around. Yeah. So, so that's why mind, it is 15,000 kilometers. Those buy an electric only. vehicle should be an local, and they have to restrict their traveling per day, max restricted to 60 to 70. Then only these vehicles are very good. Right. Sir knows the prediction and statistics, and he is successful in buying this vehicle, and he is very happy. So, he has been already recovered, if he has bought an IC engine like uh, Fasino or some sort of uh, Honda, he might have lost 30,000 and he has to invest on the petrol, but SAR has been recovered. Not only the 30,000 running petrol cost for, cost, for every 2 months or 3 months I need to do service, yes, sir. the oil seals will go, yeah. the maintenance almost I can say not 30,000, I recovered 70 to 80,000 of oh, good cost. Sir. Uh -huh. So, there is no maintenance because every 2000 kilometers you have to change the gear oil and you have to change this uh, brake coils. Yeah, All those issues have been gone. Gone. It is very comfortable in using. And, sir, sir, what is your recommendation? Do you recommend to any customer to buy Okinawa? Yeah, definitely I will recommend this uh, I press plus to plus. Uh, based on their requirement, they can go for this model I press plus or some lower models are there okay. which comes with 90 kilometer range. And without registration, they are offering 60 kilometers range bikes also. So, okay. so large varieties are there in this I press plus. This is the top end model from the Okinawa. Okinawa. So, I choose this one. 
So the overall feedback from Saris, Saris is very comfortable uh-huh. in purchasing uh-huh. this vehicle and he recommends it to other customers to also buy. There are some small issues like uh, suspension that to be improved by the manufacturer. manufacturer. And one more issue, the placement of, placement the, of battery the battery has to be improved. If these two are solved, then it is a best. And next one drawback, what we identified, you know. So here the UI is there. This UI is not having a, uh, for example, the available battery capacity, how many kilometers I can drive right now. So that UI should be changed. So all the basic vehicles comes with the minimum feature. So for example, if the battery is 100 percentage, with the available battery percentage, how many kilometers I can drive? Then the person who is driving will have a clarity, how many kilometers I can travel. So that kind of UI has to be modified. And this is old outdated display, which is nothing but thin film display. It has to be upgraded with the color displays. Nowadays, all basic vehicles are coming with the color display. So in the direct sunlight also, we can see the complete UI. And we have to give some more UI in more clear. Why? Because all the companies are coming directly with 7 inch touch screen display. So those sort of optimization has to be gone through Okinawa, which will help the customers uh, to buy more vehicle, which will be like uh, helpful for you. So this is what the feedback from our Rambabu sir. So thank you for your uh, thank sh- you, sharing your valuable thank feedback. You, sir. Thank, thank you. Sir.